Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. There we go. Sun's just about to poke its head up. It's uh, 5.30. I've been up since uh, quarter to five. All right. Um, uh, my good friend Jack would like a quick video on setting up the um, Victron um, MPPT 100 slash 30 amp MPPT controller and a quick setup on the BMV 700 series. I got the 700. Okay. Um, what I'd like to touch on first of all, if I can step across here without hurting myself. Okay, there we go. Okay, now uh, to reset the BMV 700 series, as you can see, this is a 702. You um, enter set up. I think it's 82 or 92 you scroll to. Turn the internal lock off. When the turn internal lock off, you push set up and select. At the same time, hold them down for three seconds and that factory resets them. Okay, so with the uh, Victron gear, um, as you can see, the, the power use has only been 3 watts of so 0.2. Haven't even used an amp yet. Okay. Uh, with the... With the... Um, programming, uh, you program the size of your battery bank for lithium. And then you go off your consumed amp hours. So I've got two batteries, 100 amp hour each. So let me go into settings. Okay, settings. Battery. Okay. And these are the settings I have. Okay, so battery capacity, 200 amp hours. Charge voltage, 13.8 volts. That's at the, the float voltage. Tail current, 5%. And uh, that's the charge detection time. Now, the most important is your perket exponent for lithium. You need to set that at 1.05. And um, the efficiencies, 99% uh, because they're pretty bloody good. And your current threshold is 0 0.10 amp. And time to go averaging period I have set, okay, for three minutes. All right. You can all see that there. Okay. Now, go back. Uh, I go into the relay. That's all off. Okay, because I don't have anything on the relay. I don't have any alarms turned on. I don't like alarms. Okay, that's my display. Uh, there you can select what you wish to display. Now if you have a temperature sensor, under miscellaneous you've got auxiliary input. Set that to temperature. Okay. That's the shunt, the type of shunt I have, a 500 amp, 50, 50 millivolt. Alright, that's all got to be set right. And that's simple, and that... That will give you the correct readings, or it should do, for the um, that type of uh, 12 volt lithium battery. And, and as most of these little 12 volt lithium batteries are all the same, it should work pretty much on any of them. But don't go with a lithium battery because the volts don't drop. All right? They're not like a, a lead acid battery and, and lead acid batteries uh, work off voltages and then they do a bit of fancy math and work out your percentage. But 
Um, it doesn't work that way. You have to actually go off your consumed amp hours. Let's get back to this. Okay, so there you can see this is my um, first page that shows me everything that's going on uh, that I need to know. Um, I don't need to know it all the time, but it's, uh, you know, if I need to know my system's working right, I can I go here. And if something's wrong here, then I get my voltmeter out. Okay. Um, and then we come over here, and this has totally been reset as well. All right. You can see the uh, panel volts, how many um, watts and yield and all that. Mm. That was, re I reset that yesterday. That's a different one than I showed you yesterday because I reset it. And over here you've got the same graph. You can go up here. You can set it for volts. Solar current, solar power, battery voltage, battery current. And it'll give you a running, a running graph in here. All right, so that's that part of the program. Very nice job. Now we, we go into the settings and we go to battery. All right, okay. Battery voltage, 12 volt. Max, I think you can see that if I just hold it like that there. Maximum current, that's the maximum current. I've set the 30 amps. Charger enabled. Battery presets used to define. All right, and then I've got all my absorption voltage now. That battery will take, well, uh, its, it's maximum is, is 14.8. Now, yesterday you seen it go up to 14.8182, just for, you know, a, a millisecond. Um, and that's what, and I've got this set at 14.75. Uh, and, and, yeah, even though you've done that, it'll still surge to the 14.8. 8182 and then come back down again. I've got my float voltage set at 13.8 because that's what it is, and that held pretty steady. That was pretty good. Equalization, I don't equalize, but just in case something act happens and it, uh, it has a, um, a brain fart or something, I have put in 13.89 in there, but as you can see, it's all been disabled. Okay, you can see that it's all, it's all been disabled. Okay, but that's the settings, and those batteries seem to like those settings very much. Okay, let me just hold it still for you to have a look at. There you go. All right. Um, my load output i don't use it okay so it's always off okay street light again i don't use it it's always off uh tx port function normal communication okay and uh vr smart networking i don't have vr smart smart networking center um so again i don't worry about it and that's it easy as and um yeah i mean it's you've seen yesterday it charged those batteries up really fine um i've sat here i, I checked all my temperatures on my cables because i got those little jumper cables in i've checked the temperatures on the batteries on everything um and like I mean, once I put the gear in it, remember, you know, with camper trailers and caravans, because um, stuff can loosen when you're driving over corrugations and just roads in general. It's not like a, a house where it just sits there and doesn't vibrate. So remember every now and then get out, check the tightness of your fittings on your wires because wires do squash down. Um, and check and make sure you don't have any loose wires or fittings develop. Um, you don't have to do it all the time. Like 
I'll, um, on my first trip, I'll, I'll take this and probably on the second or third day, I'll run a spanner over everything in the camper trailer. Here comes the sun. Oh, there it is. Good morning. So, so yeah, the sun's just um, peaking up now. That was a, one of the early morning uh, people walking. So the sun's just peaking up over there. <coughs> oh, bugger this sun of bloody cold. So yeah, just run a spanner over everything. Um, cause it does move, it does vibrate, stuff does get loose. And it'll be a, it'd be a bugger for your batteries all of a sudden to die. Just because of a loose wire. Um, alright, that's it. Um, I hope that's what you wanted, Jack. Quick, quick video um, explaining the uh, Victron battery monitor uh, battery monitors. Yes, they will work on lithium, but you have to think outside the box. You have to um, use your consumed amps to work out. You stay at a charge. Don't believe that thing. Yeah, don't believe that. That lies. Um, so, yeah, well, it does on lithium anyway. And uh, Remember, these aren't, these aren't a definitive battery monitor. Um, it all depends on your settings to how accurate they are. I think I've got the settings on this pretty, pretty right. Especially your Perkett component. Um, which is pretty tricky to work out, but anyway. All right, I'm rambling on. It is a glorious morning. Oh, there. I got my bandage off. You want to you see me injuries? Oh, get it in the light. Look at that. Yeah, lovely. Uh, it's a bit sore, that arm, this morning. <sighs> All right, keep safe.